Lubbies, how will you respond? Hello, Lubbies, and welcome back to Thy Kingdom Come, Matthew 6 and 33. Lubbies, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and take this time to click on that subscribe button and the bell so that you can be notified of future uploads. Lubbies, you know, it is oftentimes a test when we are attacked with negative thoughts, negative vibes, negative comments, and negative people with their negative ways. And Lubbies, how I respond to negative comments came in handy over the last couple of weeks. You know, God is always watching us at all times. And, you know, we can always be happy, bubbly, and loving when everything is going our way. But when comments that are negative come to you for no reason, it is important for us to respond just as Jesus would respond. I'm not saying that we're perfect. I'm not saying that we're always going to respond in the right manner. But when we don't respond in the right manner, it's important for us to correct that wrong. Lovies, I have two channels. This one that is Die Kingdom Come, Matthew 6 and 33. And then I have another channel where I post DIYs, how to, where I build things, I customize things, but on my other channel, sometimes and occasionally I'm faced with negative comments. And usually it's oftentimes because of someone coming to my channel because of a title in which they had a strong feeling about the title. As you know, sometimes I have to take the comment in, I have to let it marinate and then respond to it. I've learned to respond in that manner because I realize that we're all human. And I understand that at times we can be very carnal in our flesh. And I know oftentimes we can let things come out of our mouth that we will oftentimes regret. You know, the word of God says out of the mouth, the heart speaks and loveys. As I try to respond always in a positive manner, occasionally it doesn't go that way. But, you know, we can be sometimes so overzealous about an issue that we don't hear everything that is being said. We hear what we want to hear because we already have preconceived notions, preconceived thoughts, and with our own beliefs, that can really put a shadow over what is truly being said. So it is important for us to consider our responses before we speak, before we think, and before we act, you know, in the Bible, Saul was so convinced that everything that he was doing was so right and not only just right, but righteous. And loveys, he was so convinced that what he was doing was right, that he went out seeking Christians to kill them. Can you imagine that? Can you even imagine thinking that you have a heart after God, but you want to go out and kill people. Paul felt that way all the way up until he was on that road to Damascus. And that was where he met Jesus. And Jesus asked him, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? Saul was so confused at the fact that Jesus even approached him. When he said, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? Saul was probably looking at Jesus like, I don't even know you. Who are you? But you see, whenever you attack a child of God, you are attacking Jesus as well. When you have given your life over to the Lord and you are walking the road of righteousness and within God's will, then you become one with God as well. So Saul did not understand what it was that Jesus was trying to convey to him. But you see on that road to Damascus, Saul encountered a new way of thinking after Jesus confronted him. Saul encountered a new mindset and a new path. As I said before, we can be so overzealous about an issue, so much so that we do not see the bigger picture of what we're believing, 
what we're thinking, what we're saying, how we're doing it, and why we're doing it. So it is important how we respond because of the fact that God is always looking to see how his children are going to respond. You know, when things are going great, we can always respond so sweet and so nice and so kind. But when things are said to you negatively and hateful, that is when God really wants to see who you are. That becomes a real defining moment as to who you are when you're tested as a child of God. I was speaking with my daughter over the weekend about my channel and she began to talk about negative comments. And it was ironic because I was responding to a negative comment at the time when she came in my room. And she was saying, be careful how you respond to them. And I told her, I said, you know, I respond to all of my comments pretty much if I have time. And I told her I, I respond to the good ones and I respond to the bad ones. And I told her about a comment that had come in that was negative. And I read to her that comment. And she kind of gave me the okay about the response. But lovies, it's important how we respond to people because oftentimes people are on a different level of walking with God. And we can say something so negative to them that it hurts them and their feelings to their core so much so that they will be turned away from God. But we also have to understand that when people respond in a negative manner, sometimes they just don't have that spiritual growth where they have learned to first think and then respond. But lovies, it is always important for us to realize that God is always seeking to see how we will respond to his children. So lovies, it is important that we respond in a manner that is loving caring and pleasing to God. But lovies, as with all good things, all good things must come to an end. And lovies, it's time to go. I love you guys and I want you all to know that I'm always praying for you. And you know what my main prayer is, is that if you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior and your Lord, you will make him your personal Savior and your Lord today. And come on into the kingdom of God and begin to activate and demonstrate the kingdom of God that is within you. Luke chapter 17 verses 20 and 21.